Hello, and welcome back to MLB The Show 18 and the Jason Parham Road to the Show. I'm Tyron Saber. Last time out, Jason had an okay outing against the Philadelphia Phillies in Citizen Banks Park. He pitched six innings, allowed two runs, including a single homer, and uh, collected five strikeouts. So he got the win, and uh, everybody's happy. You know, wasn't his best game ever, but we got the job done, so let's carry on. The manager confronts his pitching staff about an unacceptable team statistic. Yeah, Jay's home runs per nine had been unreasonably low previously in the season. I think it was down to like 3% home runs per fly ball. So the fact he's back up to like 7% now, so it's a little more reasonable at this point. But uh, still, wasn't a good look. Okay, bullpen day. What do we got? Cut velocity. Going to have to be a prohibitive favorite. She seemed velocity cap, not interested. Arm strength is a thing that I could do. Bunting is a thing that I would rather not do. Durability in home runs per nine. Me. Pitching clutch in home runs per nine. Again, me. Yep. That cut velocity. Okay, looks like we're inviting the Miami Marlins back to City, to uh, City Field to play them in our house. So, Jason has played the Miami Marlins a fair number of times at this point. He's played six games, started three. He has a 1-2 record against them, has a 4.71 ERA, and a 3.23 Woba. So, we'll go ahead and get back out there and see what these old, his old team can do against him. Uh, and we will go out there and get it. MLB The Show has baseball on tap from lovely City Field in Flushing, Queens. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Miami Marlins and the New York Mets. The Fish have won five games in a row. They'll look for number six right after this. Jason Harum gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub three, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Now batting, Adrian Ramirez. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Now, the reason you don't didn't see a pre-review of the last outing that Jason had against the Marlins was because that was a game that I lost the footage for. Ready to deliver. So Here's I can't go back and review the play-by-play -play to no see who scored what hits and when. Lost to the ages. As they enter play here tonight. They come in losers of seven of their last ten games, but did earn the victory last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this is a classic case of hitting is contagious. They scored a bunch of runs last game, and this team is flying high right now. This is a fight at the bat rack. He's swinging on me. Yes. And now it's 0 2. Guys, this was a team that looked shaky prior to the start of this winning streak. What's allowed them to get hot lately? Yeah, Matty B, no doubt about it. Starting pitching is where the momentum is built. This lineup has the chance to pass the baton and get guys on base. But the way they're throwing the ball on the mound, they're giving themselves every opportunity to allow the offense to score. Oh, I hung that slider, and that guy is now gone. High in Top the air, deck. Deep to left, My gosh. Way back there, and that one is long gone. So it's his solo home run here leading off the ball game. 12 home runs for him now thus far, as the Marlins will take a one to nothing lead. Any chance you can take me back to Miami there, Clint? Do a favor for a buddy? Well, this has started off certainly quick. First batter of the game goes deep. Dare I say, ambush tactics? I mean, you could dare to say that, I guess, but... Man, how did you get, how did you get the ball off your bat in that spot? Oh, my gosh. And next to the plate will be JT. Well, Goodlow. pull your pants back yes, up and try it again, Jay. Line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. 
Oh dear. Yeah, yeah, great job Loud right noises here. right here, fellas. Hey, he's gonna have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on his stuff. Okay. That's two straight hits. One of them was a homer. Batting third. First baseman. Standing in now, Brian Jimenez. And this is Slice For Pete's hard sake, down my gosh. Line. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. Riddle is on his way home. And a relay home. Oh, my and he's goodness. Score with ease as Wild the throw, throw from Brandon Nimmo in the outfield. I guess Pulls JT Ramirez head off the bag, and it's 2-0. Two two oh, and no. And they're having absolutely no trouble seeing him here. On the other side, they're very quickly looking at a game that they're going to have to fight back in. Now at the plate, Brian Anderson. Okay, Jay. Anderson. And there's a look at his home Getting and blown up here. so far this year. First delivery to him on the way. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Ooh, I'm shocked he took that Come on, right there. Let's that do this. That ain't plus 90s right there. That's mid to low 90s fastball in the honey hole. I'm surprised he didn't pull the trigger on that one. Okay, one pitch right here. On out. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Oh, these guys are getting bats on balls tonight. Jimenez stands at second with no outs. Hit in the air down the right, right off the line. knob of the bat. And that's taken in near the line as Tag the runner tags from Crap. second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. With that, a look at the batting well, order Jason's... for the Marlins. Dan Plezak, <laughs> who are you focused on? Oh, gosh. Well, I'm looking forward to see what this guy can do in that five hole. He's up to a 9 yeah, no. streak right now, and that's something to build on. We're at, uh, what, number six in the lineup at this two. point? Gets a 10. We'll start talking yep. about the Magia six hole though. hitter in Just the first kidding. inning. Nine is a nice it's like deja vu all baseline. over again. Starlin. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Looking at his career totals, Castro has collected just over 150 home runs in his big league days. One down. One down. Here comes the 0 1. There's a swing and a nice high little pop, pop up. up. Hernandez is under it. And he brings it in for the second out. That's of the two inning. outs. Striding into it's the okay, box, Jay. Lewis Brinson You're good. and the Marlins you got looking this. for more in the game's opening frame. First pitch on its way, rounded down the third baseline. Hey, like you can up there, huh? Counts even at one and one to Lewis Brinson. So let's take a look at our umpire and crew in this one. Working the plate, Rusty Valentine. Hey, you know, d Rusty Valentine, he's known for having a high and a low strike zone, but he's pretty good east and west. You better keep it on the corners. Yeah, I'm okay with Rusty's zone. There's a Without swing and a question, miss. You know he's going to elevate. It's north-south, so you're aware of it. As a veteran right, well, player, you can live with that. Curveball's working today. That's a comfort at least. Ready on one and two. Nope. Another slow breaking ball that misses down low. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Swing and a Swing miss. And a miss. A fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Get back out so on that two field. Runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom of inning number one. The Marlins lead this one two to nothing. Anthony Santander the next to bat. He'll get us started in the top of the second. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Strike one to start the at bat. All right, Jay, you got this. Come on. Hit hard down the Bounced line. over Kyle Seeger. Little cross to, to Mason Ibarra at first base. Not a problem. Second. Here's the defensive alignment for the New York Metropolitans. And let's focus on Kyle Seeger right here. Former Gold Glove third baseman. Plays a reliable third base. I think something that he does better than anybody is his ability to come in 
on no swinging buns or guys trying to lay a bunt down on him. He has the ability to have such soft hands and make that off balance throw to first base. Swung on and missed. Swing in and miss. Hey, that's a well executed pitch right there. That might have started middle, but you saw it breaking away to that outer part of the zone. This left-handed batter right here has got two decisions to make. Is he going to ground out to second base all day, or he's going to drive the ball the other way? Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A little bouncer. A little tapper a circle change, that's fine. Strike. Stand by for a loud noise. <laughs> Wait for your pitch up there, huh? Really? One out now. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Get your pitch, drive it right now. Another 0-2 home. Hmm. High fly ball out to straightaway okay, center. Out to center field. Able to put and this one away, and that's out, out there. number two. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Marlins, Jose Arena. The pitcher number 62, Jose Arena. First delivery to him on the way. And there's one okay, well above Jay. the zone for a ball. Two out, nobody on. Here we go, guys. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Okay. Okay, okay. I feel like I'm saying okay a lot because I've got nothing else productive to say about these guys. Hey, like you can up there, We're like losing you can. to the worst team in the NL. We're losing to the worst team in the major leagues. Pretty sure by the transitive property of baseball, that makes us the, the worst team pitcher. in the major leagues. Hey, I don't leagues. know what happened in between innings, but he went down that tunnel with a few of his teammates and some coaches and found a way to regroup because he's been really good this second go. inning. After going out in the first, I thought it was going to be a super short outing. Sweet. Popped him up. Oh, Hernandez. Okay, Cesar the Hernandez grass. out there. He makes and the catch. What a play on the run right to end the inning. The catch. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Marlins on top, two to nothing. Somebody get some hits across, please. Begging you. Begging. Stepping up now, Adrian Ramirez. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the Still third. Still nothing. Shoot. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a swing and he sends oh, the ball not again. in the air into left field. Gone! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. A solo shot here to left. His second of the game. Holy as the smokes. Have taken a three to nothing lead. Where does this come from? Well, in just a little more than two innings of work, he's given up two homers. Could be just one of those games for him. We'll see how much rope they give him. It's definitely getting shorter at the moment. Yeah, man. The batter, number 10, shortstop, J.T. Stepping in now. Jason's hitting the skids tonight, I guess. And the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Oh, my goodness. Hey, get your pitch. Drive it right here. This is like the bad old days. A high strike there, and is it's what this one is. One. This is like the days when... Jay was getting completely wrecked by every team that walked across him. The 1-1 one, one home. Lifted down the line in left. And that's oh, a double. And this Good will find its way to the 335 sign. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. As we take another look here, it's you can deja see vu it's a all over again, man. Running away from him at the plate. So he does the smart thing, not trying to pull it or just rolling over it, just goes with it and has enough juice on it to drive it for a double. Oh, man. Come on, guys. Now batting, first baseman. Into the box, Brian Jimenez. Jimenez. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. Get him out. 
Long throw. Oh, got him. That is a what an arcy play. throw, man. I didn't think that had the juice on it. Into the box, Brian Anderson. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat. There's a strike. There we go. Hey, I don't mind you taking one right there. This pitcher's been struggling early. You got to make him work, see if he'll get in his own. If he's willing to walk a few guys and then someone pops one over the fence, this game could get out of hand early. And that misses I would say it's and well one. and truly out of hand you know, at the guys, moment. These hitters have had some great looks at that slider so far, and clearly they're all on the same page. The plan is simple. Lay off that slider and make it bring up something straight in the strike zone. Well, I don't expect to be out here terribly long, so let's pop that showtime. Put the circle change in there. Takes this oh, the other you way to right. That's son of a gun. Right and the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're Frick. runners at the corners now with one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. He had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets through, but eventually does get the third base. Here's Starlin Castro, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And they're runners at the corners now. There's a swing and a miss. That's one. what I want to see. Let's go, Jason. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout? Or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. And he is oh. safe at the plate. It's now a 4 nothing game. And the run will score on the wild pitch. Just My kill goodness. me now, man. Got nowhere to hide out here. Hey, let's go right let here. Rip, One and two, here it comes. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Waiting on it is Nimmo. Two gone. Okay. And that'll bring in the multi-dimensional Lewis Brinson. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Like Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High in the air out towards and another can right. of corn. Souza is under it. Gets me out of the inning, but my round. goodness. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll head now to the home just half of inning number man. three. Just get me out of this game. Get me out of this game. Into the box now, Jason Parham. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Oh, good. Now it's time to embarrass myself further. First pitch on its way. Line towards center field. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Mets. The, is this your way to try to make me feel better, game? Well, maybe he can take one positive from this right here with that huge base hit. I got to be honest, I wasn't even expecting him to go to the on-deck circle. The way he's been throwing the ball, scuffling a little bit, I thought maybe manager would pinch hit for him, but not so. But at least he's got the knock to fall back on. <laughs> yeah, Jason's now got two again. hits on the season. Good for him. He drew a walk his first time up. It's only like the second or third time he's been on base this season. The one one home. Maybe the fourth. Looked at for ball number two. I think he got a base hit, he got hit by pitch, and then he got a walk, and that's what that's been the sole sum total of his uh base appearances this year. The two one home. Is swung on and oh, missed. Cesar, and too. begging you. When a guy's featuring big knock time something big, get like us back this, in this game. You have to be on the fastball. It's your only chance. You'll tip your hat on some nasty off-speed stuff, but you got to be ready for the heater. Oh, a double play ball to second. Four. Castro has it. Damn it. Second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to okay. first. Okay, well, gets me out of the game. Or out of the inning. Digging in, Anthony Santander. He's 0 for 1 and after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, 
You can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. And he was late on that, so I'm going to give him another fastball. Your pitch right here. Let's go, kid. The wind up and the 0 1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Nimmo in pursuit. I got pursuit. no stuff today, and man. It's all finding it bats. Nice play for the first out. Opportunity now to look at some of the future plans for this Mets organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent action. You know, I hear Alex Cobb's doing pretty good in AAA. Might be time to call him up and put Jason on the bench for a while. Ready for another chance? Tomas Telis. Tomas Here comes the first pitch. Breaking ball taken right down the middle. Well, that was wow, a there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and boy, he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. And he misses with it one and one. Four runs, six hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Well, shoot. Hey, your pitch, drive it deep, huh? Here you go. The one and oh, two Oh, I pitch. don't like this. And it's fouled away. Hey, you got it. Go better. Let's go. Here's another one, two. Try that slider. Hit back up the middle. Right up at Eugenio Suarez. On to first, Gets the out. Gone. Fantastic. At the plate, Jose Arena flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. And the changeup just missed the inside corner. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Bases are empty here with two okay, men. Okay, you want the slider? Well, I guess. It hadn't really helped me at all tonight, but if you say so, JT. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Fair to say? Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this trying to pick things up where we left off adrian ramirez already two for two hey and it's not a shot out right here this guy's having we just have four more to so go before, and not allow His any last runs that before that we... second home run of the game we'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this ab Here's the all right you son of a gun and this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. He's turned on both those home runs on the inside to one and one to the Marlins leadoff hitter. So I'm going to pitch him outside these couple times. Hey, get your pitch right up there, huh? Let's go, kid. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Come on, big dog. Get your pitch. Hey, let's go, kid. Here we go. Come on, Jay. Let's go. To two and two now. You got this. You got this. Get this guy out. Give him that slider low outside. Put it where you want it to go. And a good and bite get to that out. slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. The batter, number 10. And next to the plate will be JT Riddle. As he'll take a breaking ball too low okay. and it's 1-0. Oh. Not two working, huh? Two trips for him thus far. 
I don't understand how Jason still has as much confidence as he does. These guys are eating his lunch today. This offense is absolutely feasting on these count leverage situations. If he's going to have any chance of feeling good about his effort tonight, this pitcher has got strikes off. And that's foul. That's fine. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. And it's an even count of two and There's two to Jason Riddle. Let's do that cutter high and inside and see if I can't get a swing and a miss out of him, too. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he'll find Ooh. a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number and two. Seager cut right in front. I didn't think he was going to make it. Good for him. Stepping up to the plate, Brian Jimenez. One for two with a double on his line thus far. First is it slider? Going to go outside with it. Takes a look I at a said outside, the Jay. Corner. Hit your spots, please. Rip it, rip it up. Hey, straight up, straight Popped up. up. Can of corn. Cal Seeger, five there. innings. I think that's probably Jason's day today. No with this one, and the he inning just is over. doesn't have it today. Might Miami be starting down to in order, a little bit, but, but they lead it four to one. With the deficit we have, we need a pinch hitter. So Jason's done. So the only the victories Rabbit today are likely to be we'll moral victories. Circle now to try to get something started here with one gun in the inning. So I guess we'll find out how the team does without him. Survey says. Well, the fact that the Mets won today was pretty much entirely despite Jason Parham today. He pitched five innings. Allowed now, four runs, including two in home contest. runs from and Adrian Ramirez. Major he allowed that. six He's hits, but got game. only three yeah, strikeouts really in return. On one. the year, you he remains at nine and six, and, and on his career, ball. he remains so he at has to feel 18 and 26. His ERA on the year has jumped to 2.79. His FIP has come up to 2.77. And his ex-FIP is at 3.55. So that's going to do it for me. Until next time, I'm Tyrant Saber, and I'll see you at the ballpark. For more, don't forget to check out the shownation.com.